picture here, that's what our Lawrenceburg camera looks like uh, because there is icing on the camera, and that's not the good part of the story. This is a major winter storm, obviously, extending not only from Middle Tennessee, where there is now some icing going on in the southern part of Middle Tennessee, as you see in the pink area, but this storm continues all the way back into Oklahoma. In fact, some of the heaviest bands of snow are continuing to develop back to our west through Arkansas and even back into Oklahoma. So it is not going to quit snowing anytime soon. It looks as if this snow is going to continue throughout the night into tomorrow morning in most areas. Winter storm warning, obviously, for all of our area through noon tomorrow. And our accumulation forecast for the whole storm now, 6 to 10 inches across a broad a swath of Middle Tennessee, uh, lesser amounts over southern Kentucky and our northern counties, lesser amounts of snow in southern Middle Tennessee. But unfortunately, there, part of the story is ice, Charlie. That's right. Here's the way the radar looks right now. Storm 5 HD Doppler. Just about all of Middle Tennessee covered up with some sort of wintry weather. Now we've got snow, the northern two thirds of Middle Tennessee. The southern third, we're starting to see more sleet and freezing rain mixing in with the snow. And at times tonight, we may across the southern tier of our counties see a change over to all freezing rain, which is going to present some icing problems there in the south. That would be in those areas in pink indicated on the radar. Let me show you the movement of the snow. And again, as Ron mentioned, there's still a lot of snow all the way back into Oklahoma that's going to affect us. You can also see, though, across parts of northern Mississippi, uh, some drier air getting brought into the system. And that may at times, as we go through the first part of the evening, bring a break at uh, for southern middle Tennessee in the continuous precipitation, but uh, overall it's just going to be a wintry night with road conditions only going downhill. Here are the brighter white colors moving back into Davidson County as the snow's picking up. Here's the way it looks at on SkyCam. There you see the visibility's going down as the snow is again increasing here in the Nashville area. Now that the sun is setting, we're also going to be seeing uh, the more efficient accumulation of snow because the sun's not going to be able to work on it at all. Also, road conditions will be deteriorating even more over the next few hours. Still watching this heavy snow band that we saw a moment ago on our Skynet camera from Dixon continuing to move through Springfield, Clarksville, Dover, Aaron. The snow's really piling up there across Houston County, across Dixon County as well. A little farther to the south, Williamson County in the middle of that heavy band that's beginning to move into the Murfreesboro area. And there you also see the northward movement of the pink shading indicated on the radar where we're seeing more of a mix. So look out for icing from Tullahoma to Fayetteville, Lynchburg, Lawrenceburg, and Waynesboro. And as we showed you on our Skynet camera in Lawrenceburg, it's already iced up. Around. And oftentimes, you know, Charlie, when we have a winter storm, it snows for four or five hours and it's gone. Look at how long uh, that track is of snow. Many areas going to continue to get 15, maybe 18 hours of accumulating snow. So it's not by any means over yet, Vicki. As the snow falls, driving conditions are only going to get worse. In fact, it's just best to be off the roads right now and tonight if you can be. News Channel 5's Amanda Hara live in Franklin. And Amanda, I understand it's been pretty hard to get around there. Uh, also really hard to see uh, with the snowflakes pelting you in the eyeball. But yeah, pretty hard to drive around Williamson County. Um, a lot of people are taking extra measures to stay safe. But we did find uh, one guy who was just out there to take advantage of Mother Nature. He was clearly the odd man out as many drivers took their time, especially on I-65, which was bumper to bumper in the southbound lanes for quite some time. Franklin police and fire sure had their hands full with at least 10 wrecks today. But when Cool Springs Mall closed early, one man decided to take advantage of that empty parking lot. Oh yeah, with the empty parking lot, oh, it makes it so much easier. Don't have to worry about no cars or just the telephone poles. <laughs> And when you've got uh, folks staying safe, the next thing to do is have fun. Hello, how are you? Have fun when you are out here with the weather. Nathan Sharkey, come on down. Nathan Sharkey is our photojournalist, and he is having a blast with his Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles boots. Can you see those? Very nice. So we like to have fun, and we like to stay safe out here, and we'll have another report at 5 o'clock with the current road conditions here in Williamson County. Back to you. All right, looks like you're having a lot of fun. Well, it is not a good day to be out on the roads. Police have been pretty busy. In Nashville, they've worked dozens of accidents. News Channel 5's Mark Bellinger has been watching the roads in Davidson County. Mark? You know, Vicki, since we last talked, which roughly was about a half an hour ago, I can tell you that here on James Robinson Parkway, 
snow is beginning to stick to the road now, and that was not the case roughly 30 minutes ago. But as you said, Metro Police have been very busy. They've handled more than 150 accidents since about 9.30 this morning. Now, most of them, of course, have been fender benders, which is a good thing. Including, there was a bend, uh, and, and including one of those fender benders was on 4th Avenue South. The driver lost control and slammed into a power pole. He wasn't hurt. A semi stopped to make sure he was okay. Police blocked traffic for about a half an hour to get a tow truck in. It's been a busy day for tow truck drivers, as you might imagine, as well. It's pretty slick. Pretty slick, like up on the interstate. You know, it seems like it hadn't been salted real good up there. Um, no, I was coming down the interstate this morning, had a few cars spin out in front of me. Check out Old Hickory Boulevard in the Bellevue area this morning. The road was so slick, some people couldn't get up the hill. In fact, some chose just to turn around. A ramp to the Natchez Trace Parkway was closed because it was too icy. Now, TDOT and Metro continue to put salt down on the roads, but you know, it's difficult because they're not used to working a storm that is taking this long. In fact, they're used to working storms the last four or five hours. This one, as Ron said before, uh, is going to last 15 to 18 hours. Now, if you need more on road information, go to newschannel5.com and click on news links so you can find out, find more information there. Reporting live from downtown Nashville, Mark Bellinger, News Channel 5 HD. Okay, Mark. News Channel 5's Jeff Tang is live from Hendersonville. And Jeff, with everybody trying to hit the road to get home, how's it looking in Sumner County? Well, you know, Vicki, things hadn't been so bad here, but I can tell you in the last hour or so, things have gotten worse for sure. We've gotten a steady three or four hours worth of snow, and this road was doing very well up until literally about 20, 30 minutes ago. You can start to see some of the accumulation on the roads. People were driving the speed limit then. Now they are starting to drive at about half that speed, so certainly the road's not holding up as well. Now, winter work crews have been on the roads all day and yesterday as well, preparing the streets for the snow. So far, that brine solution was holding up well until, like I said, a few minutes ago. Emergency officials tell me they've only, worried, they've only worked a few minor accidents in Sumner County thus far, which is better than we certainly had expected after the initial forecasts. It was believed that Sumner counties and some of the other northern counties would get the most snow, but that simply hasn't been the case. However, emergency management officials are preparing for more problems as the snow keeps falling and the temps keep dropping tonight. Um, you know, if we just get snow, um, you know, they're saying we could have some substantial accumulations, and that's something we haven't dealt with for a long time. So it's going to challenge us. It's going to challenge our uh, response um, capabilities. But those emergency officials tell us they are ready for whatever does come their way this evening. As you can see, a fair amount of accumulation now, both off the roads and on the roads. Fortunately, those cars are taking their time now as they are heading home, perhaps. Taking a look at this is Charlotte Avenue heading west or east towards downtown Nashville. Normally on a Friday at 4.41 in the afternoon, well, this would be jam-packed with cars leaving work for the day. But with government offices closing early and many private businesses also closing early, not that many people on the road. And as you can see, as we've heard from other reporters and from the weather team, the road conditions here are going from quickly. Since we last spoke to you about a half hour ago, the snow has picked up. The sun has gone down a little bit more. There are fewer cars on the road, which is making for worse worsened road conditions here and as you can see everyone is taking it pretty slowly here on charlotte avenue right now as we head down towards db todd boulevard familiar with as you can see everyone's taking it easy and that's the key out here right now as these road conditions do get worse because as it gets colder as more snow falls as fewer cars are out here things are going to start to ice up out here and you can't even see downtown from here. This is uh, from D.B. Todd right now. And usually you can see the skyline of Nashville from this area here. But it's as you can see down on the road. But as for now, everyone seems to be taking it pretty slowly. The speed limit here on Charlotte is 40 miles an hour. And we are going about uh, 20 miles an hour. So you can tell that's what you need to do. We are live in Mobile My 5, Chris Cannon, News Channel 5 HD.